the Kelly Hopkinsville encounter, also known as the Hopkinsville Goblin case, or the Kelly Greenman case, was an alleged encounter with extraterrestrial beings in 1955 near Kelly and Hopkinsville in Christian County, Kentucky. Many skeptics say that the reports were due to the effects of excitement and the misidentification of either a meteor or an owl. The U.S. Air Force classified the incident as a hoax in the Project Blue Book files. Project Blue Book was a study on unidentified flying objects. It started in 1952. It was the third study of its kind. The two main objectives for Project Blue Book were to determine if these crafts were a threat to national security and to scientifically analyze unidentified crafts data. In the evening of August 21st, 1955, five adults and their family arrive at the Hopkinsville police station, claiming that small, unknown creatures that came from a spacecraft were attacking their farmhouse, and they have been holding these creatures off for about four hours. Two of the adults claimed that they had fired 12 to 15 shots at a dark figure that popped up to the doorway and peeked through the window. The police were concerned that these families might be shooting at innocent locals. They send a police officer, a state trooper, military police from the nearby U.S. Army Fort Campbell. All of the officers search the farmhouse, but the only evidence that they see are holes in the doors, walls, and a broken window. The Sutton farmhouse had no running water, causing Billy Ray Taylor to go outside and get water from the water pump. It was around 7 at night. Taylor said that he looked up and seen strange lights to the west, which he believed was just an airplane. He described it as being disc-shaped with a single bright light. He ran back to the house, excited to tell the others what he just saw. But no one believed him. They thought he had just seen a shooting star. About an hour later, the family begins to hear strange noises outside. The family dog began barking loudly and then hides underneath the house and stays there until the next morning. Billy Ray Taylor and Elmer Lucky Sutton go outside. They say they saw a strange creature emerge from the nearby woods. When the creature walks towards them, Taylor reacts. and then both men run inside the house. There was noise all around them, and they could see these little creatures running past the window. Suddenly, everything goes quiet. There's no sound, not even crickets. Two of the men go outside to take a look. As the two open the door and step onto the porch, Lucky looks up and sees one of the creatures on the awning. The creature falls from the roof and the two men run back inside. Within minutes, they see one of the creatures peer into the window.
For the next few hours, the witnesses said that the creatures reportedly approached the home, popping in the doorways and the windows. They were unsure as to how many creatures were out there. After the story got out, it became national news. A local newspaper were the ones that added the detail of the creatures being little green men that became infamous with many stories involving UFOs. The estimated height of these creatures were between two to four feet. Within 10 days of filing the report, the family leave their home. One of the neighbors have said that the reason for the haste leave was because the creatures came back at 3 a.m. Others say they became sick of being ridiculed. Some believe that the creatures were just a misidentified owl. These creatures share very similar features. Both have pointed ears, glowing eyes, and seem to be around the same height and size. 